Hey, thanks for sticking around. Um, I realized that it had a skip there while I was on break. Uh, but I'm. It seems to have like reconnected on its own. So, are y'all coming through over there? Check chat. I have your last comment, uh, Stephanie. We love our large amounts of freedom. So goes shark to puss. <laughs> yeah, where you can only see the fins. <laughs> I guess if the water was clear enough, you could see like the shadow of it. Are we good though? Are y'all streaming on all on wherever you're watching from? It seems so. I'm just gonna hope. So I guess that's that's the lesson learned. And it, if it disconnects, I'll uh. Just let it be for a second. Hopefully they'll reconnect. All right, so let's get the other sketch pad in here. It's a little bit bigger. We're here. Yay. Worked. Good job, stream thing. Not making me restart again. All right. Put this off to the side. Oh, I still haven't had my coffee. All right, I'm just gonna dive right in with a rough pencil sketch here. And I kind of like what I did. I guess I'll just refine it, not be as lazy about some of the decisions. Uh. I feel like we gotta be right up on one of the sharks. I wanna try to get more stylized lines this time, as I've been saying. So, trying to simplify shapes. Uh, it's not really as jagged as I wanted it, but okay. I feel like jagged rock isn't necessarily just pointy, but more angular squares turned on their side. I've been doing a lot of work lately and making um, hyper casual mobile games. It's been a very interesting experience and it's really brought a lot of attention to making things very simple and readable. Like, I've had to be the opposite of illustrative in that job. Um, but I've loved it because it's really trained the other side of my brain to think like, okay, what's the average of what I'm trying to show you? 
So the vanishing point for this cliff can be pretty harsh. I always like the way it looks when uh just sort of like grass hanging off the edges. I'm almost like trying to be more cartoony with this, I guess, is my goal. But not sacrificing quality because of it, uh, if that makes sense. Not quality, uh, or information, I should say. Not sure about this line here. Or what it means, or why it's there. Just inventing the rock. As much detail as I'm adding, even too much. Let me get my other eraser really quick. Seems to be streaming still. Hey, I stopped my Instagram reel on time. Look at me. Find my eraser it's somewhere over there. It's like a stick eraser that acts like a mechanical pencil. I have two of them. There's uh, this one, but there's another one. Where is it in here? There it is. No idea how this is going to come out, Stephanie, but I always say that. <clears throat> and uh, this thing, so. Click the back and mechanical pencil eraser. I actually <laughs> sharpened it with a pencil sharpener too at one point. And it worked very well. It's good when you're doing like a graphite drawing too and you want to uh, do highlights on like a shaded area. Pure graphite will eventually be inking this in. And here, uh, so the guy is going to be sitting. So, he's a surfer, so he probably had shorts on. Little too big. I'm gonna bring the cliff down a tad more. More like here. I'm not sure how I want to, like, 
have them sitting yet. So I'm just going to kind of toss them in for now and then refine the way he looks. Something like that. Oops, I just punched the camera. Let's see where it is now. Oh, it's actually more centered. <laughs> Ain't that funny? Punch it in the <laughs> It always comes out amazing no matter what you're drawing. Ah, oh, well, sh sheesh. True. I'll have to I'll let you. You'll be. I'll let you be the wielder of that <laughs> opinion. I'll, thank you, but. Okay. Thank you. Uh, oh, you're the best. Oh. Kirsten's going to get some coffee, and boy, I'm excited. So I am, I'm fighting off like the, I'm still half asleep feelings. I feel like his hand would be kind of chilling over the edge right there. Like when you're looking over, if you're like sitting over the edge of a cliff, you're not like. Just to get him in there for now. Okay. The cliff goes into a sort of exposed overhang here. Mm. Being a bit dark with my lines. Um, but that's fine. The pen will be darker, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I guess if I was to turn back time, I would stay overall a little bit lighter. Before I was final on exactly what, um... I wanted it to look like. So, uh, I'm trying to let this cliff be like the harbiter of perspective in this drawing a bit, because it's like square, so use these pronounced edges. To pull out it vanishing this way. And water would hit somewhere about here, I'd say. Do 
do my Instagram reel really quick. Basically, when I say that I have a camera, another camera, I am. I know for for those of you that know, you know, but for those of you who don't, just trying to film that simultaneously. You know, kill the kill two birds with one stone saying it's more like kill twenty birds with one stone. That's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I feel like this rock sort of doing this indent thing. Uh, maybe. Maybe the island continues a bit this way. And this will be like the true horizon, you know what I mean? not perfectly level. Some water indications here. Oh, sloppy, I didn't like that line. Be more flowy with them. Some of them I was happy with, but some of them I wasn't. Okay, continue these rocks. I feel like this, this, uh, somewhere over here is like where the surfboard can go. Because I feel like this third needs to be, uh, where the sharks are. Um, hmm. I feel like it'd be better if it was like this. I have a rock here. Like kind of fit, like leaning at us, you know? Little strip down the middle. And this one's sort of on another rock over here. And I suppose this is the one that should have the fin. That's how they are, kind of, right? I, I haven't looked at a surfboard in a while. But something like that. And, uh... Continue this rock here. I'm going to make a... Make this the cliff because I don't want there to be too many lines behind the surfboard. I think it would make it too busy. 
and take away from the surfboard. Um, when there's color, though, it'll obviously pop out more. Did you hear about what's recently happening with Discord? No, what's happening with Discord? I basically, I only use it for, like, gaming with my friends. Or Warcraft when I do Arena. <sighs> what are they doing? Is it shutting down or something? Sorry. Forgot to change the camera there. Mm, Cliff can just go off the screen. The paper, I mean. <laughs> screen paper, whatever. Okay. Trying to keep my cliff lines simple. This just comes here, a few layers. Um, I decided I wanted some more cliff right there. A little bit more grassy knoll too, whatever you want to call it. Already adding too much detail again. Their ban system is acting dysfunctional at the moment. People are getting falsely IP banned when they alter their profile pictures in any way. They're looking into the situation. Okay. Good to know. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I'm not even gonna... Won't be changing my picture name. Won't be seeing me do that, Discord. No siree. I mean, I guess... Out of all the things I care about getting banned off or on of, it's... Discord's like the least because I use it the least, but that sucks. I know a lot of people use Discord, need it, they develop their communities on Discord for whatever they do. I know it's a big community development tool. Um, yeah, sharks. I'm just looking at the shape of the fin again. Fin again, fin again. <laughs> okay. Okay. I mean, people are stylizing them, too. I, I pretty much had it right. Seems like there's a lot of issue these days, huh? With the AI and... Social media trying to automate things. I guess I'm glad I looked up the shark reference because I like how the shark, what I didn't do on my other one, or would have thought to, 
is um, the how it can be sort of rough here. I like that. So I'm gonna go for for my shark fin, the first one, the biggest one. Could you temporarily mod me so I can provide the details to this? What do you mean exactly, bro? I don't mess with the YouTube chat much. I only know how to do that on. Oh, is it because if you're not a mod, you can't like post a link or something? Is that what it is? Uh, tweet in a screenshot. Okay. Um, I never open up this side. I guess it would just be. Okay, I think I just did it, mister. Oh, wow. Damn. That's so weird. So it's like a bug in their system, huh? It's not even like a... It's not even like they're getting attacked or hacked. Weird. Oh, you sent another one. Checking it out, checking it out. Discord's ban system is going haywire at the moment and altering your profile and changing your account, getting banned off the platform permanently to edit your profile. Weird. Wow. They seem pretty desperate. That's such a weird error. It's a, it's such a specific error. Anyway. Thanks, man. Noted. Yeah, anyone using Discord, don't change your name or your profile picture or anything. It's not like I have some massive audience watching right now, but... I might as well say it, right? All right, well, if there's one shark, there's two, right? Let's put another one here. This will start to help with uh, the perspective. Or the size, I should say. Because the island is, like, not that big, right? I mean, it's a little chunk of land at the best. The very best. Just had to erase the rock there. Shark number two. And I'd imagine the water would be a little more turbulent in here because it's like crashing up against the rocks, right?
All right. Just going to add some more sharks. Keep going with the sharks. Uh, maybe like one mid here. I like drew a line in between the two. So somewhere in between the sizes. Uh, I changed my mind. I'm going to move it over because of the surfboard. Wasn't paying attention. Did you have a dream that you were stuck on an island last night with sharks trying to eat you stuff? Is that, is that where this idea came from? <laughs> You're very imaginative, Steph. Show some movement in the water yeah I feel like that one could have, is, could have been turned a little bit more right I think with the color I can pull that out later make this edge a little more menacing it's a war-torn shark it's taking a it's, the shark has taken a few arrows to the knee if you know what i mean <laughs> i have no idea why this popped into my head <laughs> i get it i have no idea why some of the things pop into my head like when it comes to drawing and anything of that matter Mm. Water lines a little, a little much. Okay. I think now add some dynamic to have one going like the opposite way. You know what I mean? So like one like this. Definitely can't be that big though. It has to be smaller than the one, or the, as the same size at least uh, of the one at the rock. But I'm gonna go slightly smaller. I'm gonna push him out and go slightly smaller. Oh man, can't stop yawning. Put this a little more at an angle. This has to be the worst island in the university. It's stuck on our university of coconuts. <laughs> yep. There's no coconuts. This is a very tiny island, Steph. Not even the palm trees dared to grow. No, no, I still might throw it in. <laughs> It's pretty much sketched out. I'm not gonna worry about the clouds or anything. I'll let the let the paint take care of that. Another shark probably right here. Oh, oh, another yard. 
it's it's basically I was I should have gotten more coffee last night on my way home and I I didn't. And now I'm suffering for it. I mean, it's not suffering. You don't need coffee. I do like coffee, coffee though. It's. I claim that it helps me get up in the morning. You know, I'll say that. I don't know if it's actually scientifically getting me up in the morning. Or it's just all in my head. We all just... We all just believe that it's... Waking us up, but it's not. <laughs> I'm actually going to go in here and erase some... Rock detail. It's added too much for what I'm going for. Tiny dude is basically dead. I suffer without coffee for sure. Yes, definitely. Definitely. I feel like the sh surfboard's a tad short, maybe. Can, uh... Somewhere around there, I don't know. I don't know how long it's supposed to be. I know they're are all different sizes. I grew up as a skateboarder. It's all different deck sizes. So I don't know if that's like a typical ratio size for a surfboard, but whatever. Coffee? Yay. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I must grab my coffee. Best. Yeah? yeah. Oh my god, I'm so happy I have coffee and snack now. Thank you, you're the best. Guys, it's promise this is this is needed. It's gonna save me. Hmm. Not bad. Burrito of the day, episode two. Hmm. <laughs> it's good to start your day on something good in your stomach. Copy. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Oh, yes. 
Okay, one more. Mm. Mm -mm. I think it's plenty of sharks, honestly. I'll put like one out on the horizon. Just make it seem like there's way too many, right? A daunting amount. Do you know what the name of the the shark school is? Does anyone know? I don't. <laughs> That's not a pod, that's what it is. What was the dragon one again? A thunder? Thunder. A thunder of dragons. That's <laughs> that's definitely appropriate. <clears throat> I like that zebras are called the dazzle. Really? A dazzle of zebras. A dazzle of zebras. Uh-huh. A parliament of owls. Parliament? Parliament of owls. That's so sophisticated. And they are so sophisticated. They might as well show up with rolled up parchments and ink quills. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like 50% better already. Wow. And where is this place again? It's in the same, it's on the corner, like the, like the opposite corner of where the film station is. Turnbull Provisions. Oh. It's like a coffee shop, we got pastries. And... I thought that it wasn't there anymore. It's also about, like, no, I'm thinking of the Sky King. Yeah, Sky King doesn't do it anymore. I want to say it might be owned up. Okay. No. That's awesome. That's way better than anything else. Right? Oh my god, a dazzle of zebras? That's my official favorite. <laughs> yes. Right? Isn't that awesome? A tower of giraffes. A tower of giraffes, yeah. And just so y'all know, we have a commercial coming on Twitch for those of you who are not subscribed. So, apologize for that. But, uh, yeah, we will be here. Oh, that's a few for, an, for a group of sharks. What is it? A shiver? A shiver? I would not expect a shiver. Why a shiver? I don't know because it sounds funny. Yeah, that seems to be the the overall consensus. But they can also be called a yam, a bird, a frenzy, or a school. Frenzy school, or a shiver. Or a gam. 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 Like G G A M. Gam. A gam of sharks. Like you got some nice gams, but also sharks. I feel like it'd be a shiver should be like penguins or something. Right. Like how like it makes. That makes it totally counterintuitive how they're like naming them. Then sometimes it makes sense. So maybe it's because when you see them, you're like, ooh, sharks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That works. Ah, uh, yes, hot sauce on your breakfast burrito. You mm -hmm. must. It's a good idea. I'll, I'll give my stomach a break this time. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, but my stomach has been much more sensitive to like spicy foods lately. <laughs> Would you say welcome to 30? Mm -hmm. Is that a 30 thing? <laughs> I don't know either. I mean, I've eaten spicy foods my whole life. Maybe that's why. My body's just like, all right, enough. Done with you eating lava. You got a breakfast burrito. Mm -hmm. I am totally happy with it. Alrighty. And now we take out the pen. It's pen time. That's enough pencil sketching for me. Should I get the pen going here? It's been a minute. Dun, 
doesn't want to. Let me see. I can sometimes, if you unscrew it and turn the uh, converter, it's called a little bit, it'll push some of it out. There we go. Learned to deal with like the finickiness of fountain pens, but I've I like them more. Mainly because of the refillable thing. I haven't used this one in a minute. Seems like it's going now. And this is the Fude Fude nib. So it's, it's, uh, it's bent. See that? If I turn it this way, you can't see it. If I turn it profile view, it's like a little... So you can get thick lines or thin ones. All right. I think it's going. Enough, anyway. Take a few last bites of my breakfast burrito over here. Because it's just so good. You like the culture? I do. I mean, it's not anything, like, amazingly special. I just got you playing cold beer on somebody else. Yeah. It's no Firebird. Or Redbird. True. I mean, but they're all, like... I think... I said the most interesting coffee I've ever had. Had, like... Turmeric. And, like, other things. And then it was carbonated slightly. Oh, yeah. The cold brew refresher thing. Yeah. yeah. It was It was very interesting. Carbonated coffee. A shiver, I guess that's appropriate because the sharks are scary. Yeah, okay, that's the same thing she said. Yeah, a shiver of sharks. Shark, sh shiver of farks. Sharks. It's just fun to say. I can't even say it. A shiver of farts. A shiver of farts. <laughs> yes, I agree. Is it good? It's kind of sweet. Alrighty, let's pen it up. Pen it up. Obviously, got to do the Instagram reel for the first pen moment. For the first ten minutes of your pen. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you know well. Watercolor paper paper isn't that nib friendly, but like with nibs, the thing you'll find is um they kind of collect a little bit of paper as you draw, and and like then the fibers will get in it, and you get it like it'll get like clogged up, but it happens more so on watercolor paper. If you have paper that's like designated for pens, that doesn't do it as much. Yeah, I figured I'd make it hopeless, you know? Yeah. As many sharks. Yeah, no. I remember open sea uh, snorkeling one time. Once upon a time. Very long time ago. I think I was like 14. And I, I did have that uncomfortable feeling of sharks. The thought did cross my mind. Okay. 
So now you have me curious, kind of hungry. What is your in your burrito? <laughs> tastes like burritos, and uh, tastes like burritos are my burrito. Yeah, yeah, it had small burritos inside the big burrito. That's not what I was trying to say. <laughs> burrito stuffed burrito. I meant to say it sounded like potatoes. It sounded like, like as I was tasting it, it sounded like there was potatoes in there. <laughs> I clearly, I don't have my coffee yet. I already answered the shit away. It's good. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I was very helpful on that. Yes, it's full of burritos. <laughs> You've never had a burrito burrito? This <laughs> shit's good. <laughs> I just don't have enough coffee. That's what I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drawing rock lines for breakfast. Crunchy. I'm a Goron. For those of you Zelda fans out there in the roaring crowd. Um, I'm going to make this one more skippy. It's just a little too, like, straight of a line. Nice, only managed to make that one like a two minute Instagram reel clip. Last time I was doing like 10 minute, 11 minute ones. <laughs> Yum. Yes. I'm revitalized right now from that burrito. It was like a sense of being equivalent. <laughs> only Dragon Ball Z fans would know. I am. I am a big nerd. You're perfect. I like the things I like. Same. <laughs> I grew up on Dragon Ball Z and World of Warcraft and Zelda. Basically all the games. Po all the popular ones, you know. I would say the true nerd happened, though, when I ran into the Elder Scrolls. Oh, yeah. When Morrowind came out. Oh, my gosh. I must have put in 700 hours into that game. For the original Xbox, too. <laughs> this one. I mean, who hasn't, like, heard about Skyrim, right? I feel like people that, like, don't even play video games know about Skyrim. It just, like, had that much clout. I mean, it is the best game. I haven't seen another game touch it quite the same way. Like... <laughs> it's just such a good game. <laughs> yeah, same. Actually, maybe WoW. I'd say probably WoW is more than Skyrim, but still. It's just because the game has been around longer.
but yes. I, I don't even know if I'd want to know the accumulative number of how long. How long. <laughs> it's going to be super sunny, and poor surfer dude should probably be sunburned just for grins. <laughs> we can try to make him sunburned. He's kind of tiny, so... I don't know how much that'll, like, translate, you know what I mean? But we'll do my best. I'll get the I'll get the magnetic cow in there too. <laughs> Snapped surfboards kind of floating there, but I think what I'll do is I'll put another rock here. There you go. Now it's propped up. My pen did the thing I was talking about. <laughs> Is that a cow emoji? I can't see it on my screen. It's like the chat. Yes. Uh, I have it. It is a cow emoji. Okay. <laughs> you gotta do the cow emoji and then a magnet emoji next to it. I almost feel like I need to have like a special emoji now. Yes. For subscribers only. That's the magnetic cow. I picture a cow with like a superhero costume on with a magnet. <laughs> the cape. <laughs> I mean, it's only right to create like those emojis from 20 times. Good. Mm -hmm. You know, inside joke times. The times of inside joke creation. This part's always so relaxing, tracing the pencil sketch. I enjoy it. Can actually like pay attention and talk more too. I feel like I've said that point before. I feel like I've probably already recrossed many points at this point. Over, we're on thirty-one episodes now. I think I've said a couple, couple things twice. <laughs> probably a few times. Probably. Uh, that's my stretch noise for anyone that's wondering. I'm okay. Don't worry. I didn't get like hurt or anything. <laughs> yes, the uh, joke of emoji. Is that the one that moves? Yes. Okay, so it doesn't do it on my like. I just want to. I just want to check something quick here. No, no, I'm not touching that damn thing. Okay, yeah. That was right. Yo, Oz, what's good, dude? Good to see you, brother. Hope you're having a good day. Today we're doing, uh, Stephanie took the torch again. And it's a guy stuck on an island with a bunch of sharks. Sunburned guy. For grins. <laughs> cow emoji do it yes cow emoji cow emoji <laughs> <We're chanting. laughs> yes I'll do the cow emoji I'm good glad to hear it looks cool man thank you those are some sick arena matches the other night bro So far, I'm staying strong in the hunter. I haven't changed classes. But you know how that goes. I'm starting to feel practiced in it now. I don't have to look at the buttons anymore. Well, that pen line just straight up didn't draw, huh? I 
I find the Fude nib to be a little more inconsistent in that way. Undefeated, we didn't lose. Yeah, that was one of those nights. Seriously, it was like just we were just on fire, you know. Like all all the plays were good. <laughs> yeah, hunter, hunter healer, it's good. I think no matter what healer it is, it's like in twos, right now. It feels good in threes too. Now it's time for the water lines. Holy Marshall worked very well. Yeah, definitely. Because they always, the melee classes always trained me, so. The Paladin has so many of those extra protections for all that damage. I'm talking about Warcraft Arena, guys, by the way. One of my. My lifelong gaming pals it's in chat right now. To give you an idea how long we've been gaming friends. When I was like eight or six years old, he used to come over to my house and help me beat Zelda. I got mad. Got stuck. Remember those times? <laughs> Good times. I mean, he's eight years older than me. It's my cousin. Yeah, I used to get so upset when I get stuck on that game. I still get stuck on it. I want to be careful with these lines. It's easy to overdo things like motion lines and water lines and stuff. And just get too busy with it. I'm going to spin the pen around. One of the benefits of a Fude nib. You get a really fine line. Turn the pen upside down. It's not necessarily designed to do that so you like run out of ink sometimes with it but to fix that you just turn it over and make a few lines somewhere else and then the ink's back the dreaded water temple yes <laughs> dude that's literally that's literally so I'm actually thinking about doing some Zelda tonight low key but that's literally the one we're on, is the water temple. Low-key Zelda. <laughs> Super high-key Zelda. So now we're drawing the Voronoi texture. Uh, basically, it's just like a form, it's an equation that creates water waves, water looking waves. So I only know it through 3D modeling. It's an equation you make, and you're coding to create water waves basically but it's a preset I'm not coding it it's been figured out for a while war has been around been around 10 
<laughs> All right. This is how we do it. I don't know why that song went in my head suddenly, but it did. Early 2000s, you know, it makes the way in sometimes. Finish up these lines over here. Sketch our little person in. Our unfortunate surfer guy. Oh, unfortunate guy. You know that reminds me of hmm. cliffhanger <laughs> yes. from in between the lines, yes. except yes. just unfortunate surfer guy instead. <laughs> and just every time it's the yes. unfortunate surfer guy. <laughs> Y'all ever see in between the lines? Oh man, that's a that's a my generation thing. Like if you grew up, if you're thirty and you grew up on like PBS. Like, it was a show on PBS that had, like, it was like a show that had, like, a bunch of mini shows in it. And one of them was called Cliffhanger. And it was this dude that was just, like, stuck on a cliff, like, on this little branch. And he'd just be, like, hanging there the whole time. And it would never, like, end. That was the whole, like, pun. It was, like, it would short, it would end short. Because they were trying to educate you, like, about, like, what, because, you know, it's a kid show. It's, like, it's, like, it'll show you how to build words by, like, singing and stuff. It's, like, that kind of a show, but... It was a funny part of that cliffhanger. I forget they would they would, what they would do. It would be like like what would happen, but so in the next episode of cliffhanger, and then just would be like <laughs> yeah, I think it was just a joke. It was like one of those like like you know anything ever really happens. Yeah, like you know on Adult Swim, it'll be just like those rando clips in between each show. That's like kind of what cliffhanger was. Let's see if I can find that to show my students now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one. <sighs> Real quick, guys. I just gotta go to the bathroom again. And I'll be right back. A couple minutes. Please don't. Uh, if it freezes, just stay, stay, guys, and hopefully it'll reconnect like last time.
Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. Just about finishing up the ink portion. I'm going to move over to the watercolor. Give him some hair. Tiny. Got to be careful with the fountain pen in the tiny moments. I feel like the, I want his shorts to be like curving over his knee. His calf or his Muscle there, we squished into the rock a little bit. Even though that's splitting hairs for how small he is. Uh, I want to do his foot. Something like that. And his other heel would be like here, because perspective. <laughs> and I think this foot, to just have a little variation, will be like. Hanging down like that. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you're not, like, ever sitting there with perfectly aligned square feet. Normally, usually, each foot's doing something a little different. Uh, and I'm going to erase his current blob of a mouth. Oh, no. That was very unfortunate. The ink was still wet, and I just swiped it. But, uh, luckily it wasn't that catastrophic. And then his hand. I'll uh, probably just have to get gouache now for the sky. That's fine. Gouache makes for a good sky. <clears throat> Yeah, it was an unfortunate puddle ink swipe there. It happens. I brushed a pencil shaving off and the rest was history. Some pencil over here I want to finish. That's what you would call a sad accident. It's not a happy accident. The other thing with this pen is uh, I tend to use ink like twice as fast 
one thing I noticed with it. So I've grown to bring my other pen out more on the on the fly because this one run has run out of ink on me while like in the middle of a drawing. <clears throat> He needs an oh fuck thought bubble. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. I didn't clean my palette, but I'm just gonna turn it upside down and clean it later to save time. So like, here's the palette. I'm just gonna use that side of it. Might be a little distracting looking at the colors like that, but it's fine. All right, where's my watercolors? Never mind, watch colors. Gouache. <clears throat> I recently packed up my portable art station. So all my goo ashes in here. Gouache. Something satisfying about just having all these paints. But I can't go to the art store. Because it's more satisfying to have paint than to use it. It's the danger. Alright. Blue sky. That's what we're gonna do. So, uh, putting some blue on the palette here. I'm going to do blue and white, basically. A nice 12 o'clock sky. And what's the brush today? Going to use... This mini fan brush, which I've recently loved. Uh, it's called a petite bristle fan brush, or bristle fan petite. Aww. Yeah, it's a petite little brush. Aww. So I have no water. Um, I lied. Over here. I am using every millimeter of this desk. <laughs> I don't have a palette camera. Once upon a once upon a time I did. Once a pineapple. Once a pineapple. Can only have it once a pineapple. And let's see how this looks. I'm doing little X motions. So satisfying. I'm gonna wait till my brush is a little bit drier there. So this was going to include no gouache until I made that pen error, so I'm going to get the sky going and then switch back to watercolor and do my best to not touch these pen lines. Because of our sad accident. <laughs> Just a Pinocchio nose for no reason. Sometimes the corner of a larger brush is more accurate than a fine brush in certain cases. That's why I like this bristle 
uh, petite is because it's a very stiff brush. So the bristles are, I would probably, I would probably put it next to like, um, tooth, toothbrush bristles. It's kind of how stiff. But because of that, um, the thing you run into with a stiff brush is it doesn't hold a lot of water. In this particular sketchbook, I haven't been caring about, uh, painting the other sides of, like, the other papers, so I've just stayed true to only one side. How do you guys feel about that? Like, if you had a sketchbook, would you want to do, like, both sides of the paper, or would you want to do just one? I feel like that's one of those like personal preference things. I gotta get a little more white white on my palette. Oops. I bumped my camera again. That time it's not centered. Are you going to have the room for your large canvas commission coming up? No, actually. <laughs> I'm not going to be painting it right here. Um, I plan on painting it in the other room with a easel. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to live stream it, honestly. Uh, I think I'm going to time lapse it. And uh, film it in there. Like, have, like, a time-lapse camera set up. Although, I do have... I did... <laughs> I randomly have the equipment to stream far away, though. Like, if I need to stream in another room. Because I, I had another idea before where I, like, bought all the wires and stuff for it. So, I am thinking about setting it up. Uh, the only thing is, when you're streaming, it's, like, imperative that you have your computer nearby. To like just you know transitions and commercials and dealing with glitches and stuff and um i don't know if i want to like bring my whole laptop in there every time so i think that's what deters me plus uh i don't know change my mind i feel like the content where we like do a drawing from beginning to end is better than like painting one inch for an hour, but I don't know, everyone's different. That's like from feedback I got. People saying that there was something nice about seeing it from beginning to end in one episode because, you know, like they'd go to work, come back, and whatever their experience would be of it. So satisfying. I love gouache. I could just like paint a white piece of paper like solid color and just like be happy. Just, just something about painting something. Covering things with liquid. Colorful liquids. It's tripping me out that this palette is uh, transparent and I can see the paint through the other side. I keep thinking I'm like going to get it in my current color. There's a tad white. Some more blue back in there.
I don't even know if my easel can hold a three by four foot painting. I have to have to test that out. If not, then it's new easel time. Which means we have to go to the oh no store. The danger store. The danger store. It's so good. It has like the best of the best. Every art supply. I gotta say, I love these sketchbooks. Like, I am not getting any other sketchbooks. This brand name. I really like the toned paper a lot. Um, I honestly don't even like white paper anymore. I like where it's uh, the toned paper starts me in the value spectrum. Because personally, I feel like it's it's good to s start with your midtones and like expand out into darks and lights. All right, uh, let me get some of this white here. And the clouds just got to get thinner. As they go towards the... You know what? Come on, guys. I've taught you enough now. What is it? What's going towards? <laughs> Failed. Failed your pop quiz. F. <laughs> Go to the principal's office. It's a little bit too much cloudage. Let's tone it down. Blend it in with some of these. Darken up the top too. Also, another thing about like brushes and types of brushes with painting. I mean, different types of brushes call for different things in different situations, but I'm noticing that it's something, there's something nice. And I would suggest just experimenting with it about doing a whole painting with the same brush. Um, it kind of. It does this thing to your brush textures, brush strokes, where it like, it kind of like helps with the consistency of the whole painting. Like something I realize is like when you switch brushes a lot or you start switching brushes, it's hard to like keep consistency and texture. I wouldn't say I guess I wouldn't say it's hard. It's uh, just I notice sometimes that the inconsistency happens. I guess is what I would say. Just be like mindful of like switching to a round brush and then accidentally having everything look different. I feel like every time I paint, I'm like literally painting for the first time in a weird way. Like I'm like have all these experiments. Maybe that's even a good way to be. I think skies and clouds are one of the best places to start playing with paint. If you're like, oh, I don't know what to paint. Like, do a entire canvas of just clouds. 
just like blending them and Plus, if you time lapse the progress, your client can't come up with any ideas while you're working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, Stephanie. <laughs> The thing is, too, it will end up being more shock value for you if you don't see it the whole time. And then suddenly you get to see the whole finished thing. The thing with seeing things is before they're done is often in painting, like, something doesn't look right until, like, something you're going to do and, uh, like, days into the painting is added later on, if that makes sense. I'm going to get a little wire brush for a second here. Yeah, but... Off to the side here, brushing my brush. You ever brush your brush? <laughs> brushing brushes and burrito burritos. Uh -huh. It's a double kind of day. Okay, so... <laughs> um that's still wet so it's looking like it's flashing on the camera but uh it won't be like that for long i literally just added water to my brush to do that by the way that's not white um it won't dry white either. Adding water to sort of blend out these dry brush spots that I didn't really like. Hopefully, anyway. I'm hoping that's going to happen. Last time I did that, it worked. So, you know, it's all I can go by. Instagram moment. It's funny how I keep saying Instagram reel, even though I'm not even doing Instagram reels. But, same company, I guess. You know who. I don't want to say it. <laughs> Some over here. This is why I like gouache. I would not be able to do this right now with acrylic. sort of reactivate these sky colors and move them around.
Gouache reminds me of icing sometimes. Believe it or not. How it feels to paint with. Feeling a little bit better about how those blended. So excited. Me too. I can't wait to buy the canvases. I, I've never, that's officially my biggest painting. I'm excited to just like glob a bunch of paint on a giant canvas, and just spread it around, and it's gonna be satisfying. Like, I can't wait to do the, like, like, I already know there's gonna be, like, one thing I can guarantee you is there's gonna be interstellar space in it. So, like, I just can't wait to get a bunch of black paint and just like, ah, <laughs> the whole tube. <laughs> okay. Oh man. I definitely want to do a teal color for the water. So I'm going to get some yellow. And put it on my smorgasbord here over here. I know y'all are mad because I didn't get this guy next to the fin. Like I'm getting to it. Relax. I know that was bothering y'all. Right there. <laughs> I realize too sometimes that, like, if someone's watching this on like a screen, like a TV or something. That they're getting a larger experience than I am of, of the painting. It's a little too dark there. Sometimes you just gotta carry out things. Like because of that it was dark and you know, I have to like go on the side and kinda of darken it too. Pure water. Being extra careful to not go over my pen lines. As the sad accident did put us in the gouache world, but if I can keep my edge, it'll be fine. And the thing is, gouache kind of dries back to like paper texture almost, like super matte. So you can like pen over it again. Not well, but enough. Okay. Clean my brush again, my teensy water. Wouldn't even call it a bucket or cup. It's like, like the things that you store like your contacts in. It's like the size of my water. <laughs> They're portable thingies. All right, screw it. I'm using my cup of water. Oh, it's interesting to me that. This stream reconnected earlier and last time and you reconnect four times, like reconnected on its own. The stream gods be flexing today. <laughs> okay, got my yellow. I think, uh, I'm dumb because I put down gouache yellow, I have to put down watercolor yellow. 
Where is the brush I want to use? I'm going to use my largest round brush here. It's about the size of that shark fin. Pretty much exact. Get to my... Uh... Actually, I'm going to find my test pad. Uh, guess it's not in here. Oh, Jesus. Just for now, it's fine. Even though this paper is yellow. Um... I think this is my ocean green. Let's show you the test I'm doing here. So I like to take that color and then mix it with this color. Then get enough of it. like uh, difference in blue there realize too a lot of that uh, ocean teal color comes from the Sun being yellow at a certain time of the day too I, I only learned that through messing in a 3d program Just getting some on my palette. I'm also going to add a little bit of white to it. Sometimes it takes a second to reactivate these watercolors over here. And this white has like red on it from last time, so I'm kind of like trying to just wash that off first. What color is the surfboard gonna be? I feel like that's like that's like the accent object. They're gonna make that thing pop. I should add a bit of water to this oceany color. Oops, ignore that. We're not going to intermission. I pressed the button on accident. My bad. What? Did you freeze? What? No, I was trying to look at it to get an idea of what color the surfboard should be. So oh. That's the color I'm saying on my phone screen is not what it actually looks like. So if it does Gotcha, gotcha. That's literally what I was thinking, Stephanie. I was about to say the same exact thing. Orange or hot pink. Yeah, those or are both. good. Orange or hot pink would be great choices.
And I'm not going to fill it all in. Just trying to get some of that. Negative space planning going. Straight up experimenting, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just telling you what I'm doing, it doesn't mean I know what I'm doing. Hot pink or orange? Okay, now, um, let's see if I can darken this color up a bit here. Just a little. Gray it out. I'm going to try to get the slight accent of a reflection of the rocks. Ocean would be a rough place, so when the water is rough, you don't see as much of the reflection. However, it's there. I think I'm not mixing my color right here. Keep adding too much of the, the gray color I'm trying to add to it. Try that. Not that much different, I guess. Both the board. Both the board could be one color. Yeah, yeah, that's def that could definitely work for sure. Might even gouache the board because gouache just pops. This has pigment stuff that stuff with pigment. Um, just turn my camera on for Instagram reel. Boop. You couldn't see what I booped, but I booped, trust me. So this sort of like pen line I reserved over here is the reflection of the rocks. It's not quite the right color yet but I'll let it be the first layer it is a little bit grayer but it's I was scared I didn't want to go too far so it's so scary <laughs> and let's see what this looks like. That's better.
Dark one should have one as well. Right on a paint on the brush. Oops, that was weird. My my bristles like went to the other sec the page. Made a boo boo there. Escape bristles. Yes. It is escape bristles. Uh, make a little bit of the ungrade version now. I made very little ever to use it all. That coffee is amazing. How much it's woken me up. Gonna come in with the highlights eventually. <clears throat> Let's see, uh Pretty much like steel blue, right? Shark fins. Oh, they're more gray, actually. Okay, let's go. So then... Take some gray. I had a little bit too much paint on my brush, so I'm gonna let that dry <laughs> and not like try the whole pick it back up thing.
Stephanie just said, I love how you can make something look so beautiful and so scary at the same time. <laughs> I love how you make it look so beautiful and so scary at the same time. We've definitely done some weird ass paintings. <laughs> like, you're making me think of the Mexican murder scene hotel thing. Really? I feel like personally I'm striking out on some things, but. Like, I'm. I'm What's, what is it? Imposter syndrome? Is that what it's called? <laughs> you can never see. You always think you're worse than you are. No, I genuinely like color things. I'm, I've like missed a few targets that I was going for. But... We will press on. All right, time to make some earth colors. I'm gonna grab my sepia tone. Sepia. And I'm gonna take the green and mix it with the sepia. Start there, I guess. It's very light. Um, just want the rocks down here to be more green. Because you're getting all that light reflecting from the Walter. <laughs> like any cliff face that's face facing down is going to be like catching that green I literally just dipped my brush in that other shark fin to paint this one because that's how wet it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some like 4D trippy shit. This guy, I don't know how he's going to get home, but uh, I feel pretty bad for him. I think about the Mexican scene all the time. It's so great. To me, that's that's one of those ones I am surprised it's a favorite for some reason. It's just like it's so out there, but like like I said, put it, like when I brought it to the art gallery and people were looking at it, like people that don't know like what I do normally, they didn't even notice that there was like a a bloody dead person getting dragged. I'm not even kidding. They had no clue. I, I had to point it out, and then they were like, oh. <laughs> Watercolor is always a mystery. Except for the people who are good at it. It's not a mystery to them. I'm still... I would say I get more what I'm trying to get with acrylic. Higher rate. This is my rock wash. I'm, I'm washing the rocks, cleaning them. So the sharks have a nice dinner plate to eat on. 
<laughs> Don't you hate that? <laughs> Did that to me the other day when I was like typing in my team. I forget what it was. It was something. I had to like I sent it to you. I had to like I had to like edit the message quick. <laughs> it was harmless. Oh man, not another stretch. Uh uh, why does it say exclamation mark? What are you worried about? Your bitrate settings are out of recommendations. No, oh, whatever. Almost going on the three hour mark here. Not bad. So we're going to make more a more brown of that brown I was making. And I'm going to grab a little bit of uh, yellow. A dash of yellow. Sprinkle. Yeah, a little sprinkle. And stop my 11 minute Instagram reel and start a new one. Get another the next 12 minute one going. It's not quite the color I was going for, to be honest with you, but we're here now. It will uh, lighten too as it dries. I guess it's fine because I'm using colors that are in the theme already. All a bunch of accidents on this painting, let me tell you. I'll leave it at the few to decide if they're happy or not. Uh, I'm going to grab some sort of green now. Throw a little bit of yellow into it. Going. Trying to stay a little in the cartoony side. Little indication of grass there. Island blanket. Island rug. A little grass under him too helps separate him a little bit too. I feel like a little bit could be growing here. It's 
It's not just like grass and then nothing. I feel like it slowly dies towards the ocean. Actually, the swipe of the finger actually gives the perfect kind of uh, texture for the mossy grass I'm going for right now. Sometimes it works out that way. It's nice. Okay. You know what it's time for? A sip of my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> my desk is getting so many little rando things on it. Oh, man. Time to light this incense over here, too. Just gonna go ahead and uh, light this incense. Ah, uh, yes, that's like some nice, good incense. Gonna come back to this shark fin color here. I think it's dry now. Although the little white line I left on them is kind of almost good enough. So I'm trying to get better with is watercolor. It's hard. You can like draw, like if you can get the negative space on the first pass right. Pretty much done. Like some of the pro watercolor artists out there, it's like they don't even, it's like 50% of the drawing is in the white space. But it's just so pro. Like the way they place it, it's. I'm gonna water down this teal color. I went a little too dark with it last time. Hopefully, I learned my lesson. Just the direction of these water lines over here weren't quite right for to me. Basically, I'm not being clear about my water lines here. And so the water isn't clear. I mean, there's enough here telling you it's water, you know? We know it's water, but. It's the watercolor thing. I'm still. It's going to be years. There's this guy, I forget his name, I've been. I've been watching him do watercolors, and he has, like, he has, like, a specific stroke for things. Like, for water, he takes out a specific brush and does this, like, one particular motion, and it makes this, like, exact shape every time. But then when you, like, stack a bunch of those up uh, next to each other, they turn into, like, water ripples. It's masterful to watch. Okay, surfboard time. Actually, I lied. Uh, cliff finishing time. Uh... I guess I'll just keep trying to get this brown that won't cooperate with me. And not add green at all. And just like see where that takes me.
Okay, well, I'm gonna roll with it. Bit too much yellow for me, but I'll put it up top more. It's going to be dark. Okay, and back to a more blue shadow color. Blue green. Can't find the right color right now. Try this one. Trying to find the dark color. I see it's not blue enough. Trying to really bring in that reflective light from the ocean water to the shadows. And that's too green. Let's see what that looks like. That's what I was kind of looking for. One more dash of blue in there. Have you decided on a final layout for the commission you're going with generally? What was in your sketch? Just curiously excited. Curious and excited sounds better. <laughs> uh, no, that's not exactly what I'm going to go with. I think... I've only decided on like a few things. Um, I still have some work to do in like thinking of some ideas, basically. So I'm not there yet. I wouldn't say I've like decided.
Just trying to make these edges that are facing down from the sun pop a little more. Or faces, I should say. There we go. Now it's starting to look more what I'm going for. Somewhere in the direction. Just, all the rock was looking too the same. I was trying to get like a shadow side to it. I mean, generally the painting is going to be around, you know, those three ideas. Because that's like what you said you wanted it to be about, so... Generally that, but as far as like details, no, no. like where the dogs are going to be or like, like things I haven't decided on yet are like if you're in a cave or not, if there's like water in the cave, um, stuff like that. Because with those multifaceted ideas, it's challenging to figure out how to balance them all. Cause it looks good on paper to be like, I want a comet smashing with a campfire, with passing the joint, with the glowing crystals in the cave, with the water. But it's like, with those four things, you have to really separate them. They all have, they're all bright. Cause you know, water is reflective, the comet's reflective, the campfire is bright, the glowing crystals are bright, the joint's bright. So everything is gonna be sort of trying to take your away your attention away from everything else if that makes sense uh the crystals are going to be the glowing crystals are going to be taken away from looking at the joint the joint's going to be taken away from looking at the campfire but the way i balanced that in the last one was i just made it i paid extra care into making sure that the comet was the brightest thing and that the campfire was 20 points or more lower in like value when I first did that drawing, I did it digitally, so I could really like go on the slider and be like, okay, when I'm drawing the campfire, I'm not going to allow any of my colors allow this like above this value number. That's something that helps in digital drawing to learn. It's like, and and in the end, it ended up looking how I wanted it to. Um, so like each thing like that, like each light source has to be in its own strict category of value within the composition. Trying to get more of these darker areas in here. <clears throat> I think the sun's coming like this, you know? And uh, so all this over here won't be getting anything but the light that's hitting the ocean and then hitting it. I love that look with the pen and ink and the watercolor over it. I don't know, I just... I know it's a favorite of a lot of people out there. I can see why. I'm late to the party, actually. They're going to come in with gouache and uh, get that grass where it needs to be. It's not quite there yet. Instagram real moment. Grab more of this color. So basically, I'm like blind on my palette right now. <laughs> I'm mixing this dark brown over like a black that I did. And I just, I just can't even see it. It's just total trust. That makes sense. That's... Why well, honestly you're okay with you doing what you want and feel like and feel like doing because you totally get the idea and the vibe. That's great. I mean I'm glad I've already nailed it with 
like my little practice painting that I sent you. Because it just already helps me to, like a lot to know that's like halfway or 75% of the way there. Um, I didn't necessarily like, like I liked that one, but I just, I didn't like every placement decision I made in the sense of like where the UR, where the fire is, how big the cave op opening is and stuff like that. It was my first little go at it. I was feeling inspired that day, so I had to just get right on it. Fixing, fixing up the edge here. Let me get rid of that line. I don't like it. The beauty of gouache. I'm going to come back in here. This got kind of mess, messy and dirty from uh, the color kind of bleeding from the cliff. And I find it goes far to take the time to come and clean up those edges. I'm letting water pool up there, unfortunately. I'm just going to let that dry and hopefully it doesn't come out like shit. <laughs> I don't mind that a little bit of the black pen line is getting overlapped, um, especially on the farther away cliff. Yeah, I like this angle better than like, I'm glad, see that, that, that's what's priceless about the thumbnail uh, process, is that the first idea I did was like this drone aerial view, and like, now that it's like this dynamic thing, I'm like down by the sharks, and like the guys, like, I don't know, it's just, I feel like it tells more of a story than the other one did. Don't even need like the palm tree anymore, really. There's something just enough about everything happening here. Palm, palm tree would just be distracting right now. It's like you just have this guy and this big shark, right? Like, that's what I get drawn to. Honestly, those fins came out, like, almost done on the first pass. I don't even want to touch them. Like, the way the paint happened with the little white edge and the way it's, like, lighter on top. I think what they need, they'll need, they need, like, a little bit of, like, um, shine like from being wet like the water like maybe a couple of white on this big one like some water shines this painting would look great pair of the mexican murder resort i would say it'd be the next panel after the mexican murder resort you just see this dude throwing the body off the the cliff it's like the body's just midair flopping towards the sharks <laughs> Because we, we do it like the the tenic, like the nope style, like the last panel, like getting whipped by the tentacle, you know, like mid motion. <laughs> Letting it dry a second because watercolor is so deceiving. We go one shade dark, uh, darker with the. Shadow cliff color. Which just means using the same color in my palette already, but just layering it one more time. Hopefully with not too much water. Because what happens is you can like spin your wheels. You come in with too much water. And instead of layering, it'll just like sort of lift up the color that was there before. I'm like just picturing this little dark corner in here behind these rocks that's happening. I drew it on accident, but now I'm trying to bring it out. I just don't think I put enough, uh,
I thought I had enough paint on my palette, but I didn't. I just have to make more really quick here. Mm. Guess that's close enough, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> I want this surfboard to really pop. I'm just going to trust that it'll dry lighter. Not be scared. It's definitely a cubby here, too. Something like that. Like right here. You know what I mean? See what I mean? See what I mean? You know, one of these days I'm going to need an emergency and that at first glance is just a spectacular scenery. <laughs> uh, well, you know, I'll paint it. I like I like your commissions. They're they're fun ideas. See, I'm just like washing away the paint instead of adding darkness. Just can't seem to get the paint to stay there. I gotta get my trusty hair dryer back in my studio, man. That shit's so good. Just get the hair dryer out. Boom. Ready to put on the next layer. No waiting. With watercolor, obviously, you don't want to blow around puddles, but. Like that shark fin earlier that I just, like, dumped gouache on on accident. Would have been a good hair dryer moment. Hmm. All right, now I'm going to get some green gouache and white gouache, yellow gouache. My green gouache is running away from me, not letting me get it. Okay. Uh... I just make like a, a highlight grass color basically. And I haven't opened this green in a while. Poor neglected green gouache. <laughs> that should be enough. A little goes a long way with gouache. Cause even though it's like, like opaque, it like you don't need the pure thick paint. It's it's still pretty opaque without, like, with it being watered down. So palette mixing currently.
And I kind of wanted it to be like crazy saturated. Like crazy, bro. Need more water. I'm going to set up a pallet camera next time. Now that I got all the hotkeys figured out. So when I'm like mixing my colors, I can just like press the button like this and it'll go over to the pallet too. And have like my face camera button, pallet camera button. Squeak camera. Uh -huh. <laughs> you have to have the squeak camera. Squeaks or squirrels? I don't call them squirrels anymore. You know what? I'm scared. I'm gonna go with a smaller brush. Terrified. Okay. And it's just a smaller round brush. That's the size of that shark fin instead of that shark fin. Arbitrary comparisons to make things seem significant. Reminds me when they do like number comparisons to make things sound huge. Like, like the distance it took was 9,000 toothpicks laid next to each other. It's like, dude, it's only like 300 feet, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they do it with space a lot. If you got in your car, it would take you nine billion billion trillion trillion years to drive to the moon. <laughs> Now, I want to take care in not covering the dark green below. Sounds like some weird horror movie name. The dark green below. Some weird movie you'd have me watch. Psychological thriller. Where you can't decide what's happening the whole time and you're just lost. Anything could happen before look it open because of the way they set it up. Yeah. So this is what I meant by gouache the grass. actually coming out the way I want. Imagine that. Wow. Watch, we're going to be doing John of the Day and we're going to like do something that like Stephanie likes more than her like idea for the commission on accident. She's going to be like, can we change the commission? <laughs> Hey. Nope, I promise. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just busted you up, Steph. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Green highlights are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad they're translating. Okay. Time to grab the orange gouache for the surfboard. I zoom in a little bit here. Oh, 
I try to get it as big on the screen as I can for you these days. That's why I've had this new camera switchy thing. So when we're on the drawing, we have maximum screen coverage. Maximum. All righty. Thinking here for a second. But nothing says I can't be thinking about my next painting, right? <laughs> Nothing says that, indeed. Nothing says that. You are correct. So, I'm going to take some of this orange, though, and I'm going to mix it with a little bit of dark blue, like the slightest amount ever. Um... To give me... my sort of shadow color. I'm even going to grab a little bit of this gray and add it in there too. Okay, that should be good. Oh, and then also some white. Um, no, that's not white. Been adding little, little tiny, uh, little tiny dabs of paint on my palette here, so it's I'm running out quickly, but it's good. I, you know, I want to run out of paint more than I'm wasting it. I'm getting better and better at that. I would waste so much paint starting out, just trying to like get colors right and shit. Okay, I'm gonna paint the surfboard between those kind of three oranges there. Hmm, okay. Start with the dark color here. Cause it's still pretty bright. A little too much paint in my brush. I'm just going to dab it off. Actually, the dirty orange is actually looking like the right color. It's another case where I accidentally put a puddle. Little goes a long way. Getting some fresh air. Nice. I think I found out whose cat it is, by the way, the other day. Oh, yeah? And I think her name's Fluffy. Fluffy? Uh-huh. I was out there, and you know the chick with all the plants? Yeah. Over here? Oh, yeah. She was, like, sitting on the porch, and, I was, like, Tabby was under my car. Uh-huh. 
and I like started it, so it like spooked her. I didn't know she was under there. Right, right. And then immediately that girl on the porch was like, Fluffy, leave him alone. What are you doing? So I assumed it was. I thought I heard Fluffy. It could, you know, it was far enough away yeah. to where it could have been something. something. Fluffy. Muffy. Muffy, yeah. I heard the Uffy part. <laughs> Buffy? Buffy the Mouse Slayer? Yeah. Buffy the Mouse Slayer. Goes to show you how much brighter the actual non shadow color orange is. I actually didn't even intend for it to be that bright. Let's see if I can dab it off. That's better. I don't want it to be like too much. Okay, now I'm going to make the tiniest strip of pink. Let's see, get my red gouache. And some white. Let's see if that's sufficient. This brush might be too big. Oh, I messed it up. Pressed my brush in too much. Sorry, I'll let that dry. Come back with the uh, orange, go back over it. It's probably a little too hot pink anyway. It's like looking more white. Add a little bit more red. Yep, I think that's the pink I want. It's not dry enough yet. That surfboard really pops though. That's the pink. There it is. Our surfboard with the pink stripe. Did it. But we must come back with the orange and fix.
Did you get tabby pets yet? Close though. Yeah, she's close. She'll break soon. <laughs> Where was she? And when she saw me, she laid down. And when she was standing, gotcha. She laid down, talked to her all the way down the stairs, and then she let me get like a couple of steps. All I remember where she was like, got up slow and stretched and went under the porch. <laughs> <laughs> it sucks that inherently you're coming down from above I know. with the stair thing. Right. So you're like always accidentally more intimidating than you need to be. I promise I kept telling her I'm not scared. <laughs> yeah. I promise I'm not scared. Yeah, someday. Pet, pet Fluffy. Yeah. <laughs> this is the highlight color of the surfboard here. Tiny. Tiny painting is like a thing on social media. Like Super tiny, like inch inch by inch painting. I don't know if you've all seen that before. This has been an interesting drawing of the day. Never know what the frig I'm going to draw, you people. <laughs> it's true, I don't. I probably would have never been like, I'm drawing. Guy stuck on an island with sharks. I did this one drawing that uh, this is reminding me of because of the way it's like set up. I, I did this fish fishing for a human. And it was like a fish sitting on a cliff with a fishing pole and like a bunch of humans swimming around under the water. And one was like cooked and they were all like freaking out. <laughs> Nice. I think that was the record for Instagram real length. Broke it. Call Guinness. So this is like the the foamy part of the board I'm doing right now. Because it snapped in half. Pretty sure they're made out of like high density foam or something. Some are maybe, but like some are wood. Alrighty. Time for like little touch ups and little guy on the cliff and then we're calling it a day. I'm drawing of the day, episode two. Season two. I think I kept closer to the cartoony stylized thing. That I was going for. I think I'll have to gouache his uh, skin color too.
doing some water highlights because you gotta and I find like when you chop into the reflections with some water highlights it really just brings out the water more water illusion it's all an illusion here Converting 3D into 2D. My little shark highlights here. Decided they needed them. It just pops out these little ones in the back more too. Try to imitate some of this turbulence here of the water behind the shark. I don't want to get too crazy with the highlights because you can get too crazy with them. That's something Bob Ross always made me laugh. I forget what he would say, but he would like be talking about that part, the highlight part. And be like, just all you get all like. Sometimes I just get all excited, you know. <laughs> you just just gotta watch out, you know, because you can just be having too good of a time, and before you know, you just ruin your whole painting. <laughs> what a legend! The way he just words shit sometimes, it's hilarious. He doesn't even know he's gonna word it that way, but it just comes out funny. I'm gonna mix a little bit of blue into this white as it goes back. I don't want it to be too. The only high, like super white highlights I want are in the foreground near me. There's really no. The, the light source is like sort of ambiguous. But generally, it's coming from the left. Uh, the shark needs a little bit of. Yeah, I guess that few, that makes sense now that I've done it. I feel like they feel they feel more connected to the water now. The fins. I feel like the water would be like being a little more wavy on them on the side of the fence. I don't know. That's one of those things I could be wrong about. That's like one of those subtle details. You go watch a fin. Like if I wanted, if this is like a commission and I was like trying to get it perfect, I would like go watch a video of a fin traveling through the water and study exactly how those looked. But I'm going to guess for now. Oh, that's always great. Make sure it pop in such cool. Way. Thank you. I, it's the part I look forward to every time. Say like two favorite parts are like highlights and then uh, doing the tracing the pencil lines with the pen after you do the sketch. That's also really relaxing. Clouds and skies too, because you don't they don't have they're not so structured and you can kinda just let them happen. 
Like this sort of little break right here that happened in the clouds. That like edge that happened. It like happened because of like a puddle, but like I like it. Like I like how it looks. Didn't do that on purpose. It like just happened to work out right where it makes it look like it's kind of a storm, like a front where the cloud is it's just a hard edge. Like some cloud thing is like, I think what I find difficult about clouds is the dance between feathering them and not feathering them because a lot of clouds in the sky, or I would say probably like it's like 70, 30, it's like 70% are feathered and have soft edges. And then occasionally when there's like this really dense cloud, the sun hits it just right. It's literally a hard edge. Granted, it's at the right distance from you. Okay. Let's make some skin color for this guy. Basically, you make a brown by mixing an orangey color with black, and then white in that so one path to it another path is just having premixed brown and adding white which is nice i've learned the power of the premixes lately at first i was like why why not just mix everything i think i had to do that for like myself to like learn and you know i, I think that the point still stands in the sense if you want like a really specific kind of brown you're not just stuck to like burnt umber or raw umber Burnt sienna, raw sienna. It's like if you want like micro variations of those, but then again, you know, there's still you can still micro variation from a premix. I love wind, rain, sunshine. Is that what that meant? <laughs> I was just reading your emojis, literally, in the order you put them. Uh, need a little more red. Skin has red. It's almost there. It's still too dark. More white. White. Yeah, I'd say it's more an orange. I'm more red orange. I'd say that's pretty skin colory. Oops, I didn't show you on there. It's close. Yeah, we'll get we'll get the palette camera back up. Obviously that's a big part of painting and learning. I'll do that next time. Next episode. This guy is shirtless because he's surfing. That's why I didn't do a collar on him or anything. I'm happy with that color, I'll go with it. Just gonna make a lighter version, do like a little rim light on his shoulder. Sometimes I can't see, like my eyes can't focus enough when I'm doing a tiny painting like this to see when the bristle is touching the paper. Sometimes it'll catch me by surprise. Like touch the paper slightly earlier than I thought it would. Kind of accidentally already got a highlight on the front of him a little bit there. Clouds and sky. Um. Grab more white. So you can see when you get to this point, you have to start holding the sketch pad paper down. Curls up on you. I 
probably should not be doing gouache for this part, but. Whatever. Yeah, it should have been the other color. I'll just come back and fix it. Highlight on his shin. Top of his, what would it be, his right foot. And just gotta fix the color of his face and then just kind of like paint it with paint. I gotta let it dry though for a second. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick while it dries. And then I should be able to finish up his head really quick. Second, I come back. Thank you so much for tuning in so far. Be sure to check out planetjokum.com. Uh, there's all my arts for sale there. And uh, you can email me as well on one of the tabs for commission work. Uh, be sure to subscribe wherever you're watching from if you enjoy what you see. And uh, I'll see you in a couple minutes.
I'm back. What is up? It's time to finish this thing. We're close. All right. Here's where we're at. I'm happy with the water, the sharks, surfboard, the cliff. Just finishing up the guy. And I lost my paintbrush. So I need to go one smaller. Okay. Thank you for sticking around, by the way. Hope you had a moment to check out the website and buy every single artwork on there. Every single one. And I appreciate that. I know it costed a lot, you know, so appreciate it. It's like a highlight color now. So I want that white dot there. Gonna zoom in on my camera over here for a second. I know it's gonna mess up your view. But it's only temporary, I promise. You know what? I know we like left off on the back rooms last time. I'm not done with the back rooms. I realized that the other day. I was like, I actually wanted to draw another one. And I was like, wait. I gotta wait because I, I want to do it on drawing it today. But I'm still having fun with those ideas. There's it's just endless. That's why you know what? it's like. Like here's this realm with a set of rules, and basically it just it's like generates itself. Still, if y'all haven't checked out the YouTube content, you gotta see that shit. It's so good. There's a cane. Kane Pixel, like K-A-N-E, Pixel, and then there's Frag 2, and then there's one called Async, they're called Async Research, uh, which is basically the name of, like, in the lore of, like, one of the teams that go into the back rooms and study it. Anyway, if y'all weren't, like, on the last half of Season 1, then... You're not caught up on all the black rooms, black rooms. <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> back rooms blabble. It's because I wanted to say the word blabble after. I'm thinking his shorts are blue. Actually, no, because blue sky. His shorts should match his surfboard, no? Because people do that, right? Orange shorts, orange shirt, orange shirtboard. I can't talk. Hey, Veronica. So good to see you. So excited to see your name back up here. I've been great. I've been great. I feel good taking a month rest from drawing of the day and just it's good to be back at it. It's, from now on, it's uh, every Saturday at 9 a.m. That's the new that's the new schedule. So you can you can count on it then. And, you know, maybe if I feel exceptionally ambitious I'll stream even more throughout the week but that's the definite day how you been how's life been treating you what are you on you're on twitch nice uh, today it was Stephanie's Stephanie took the mic today did uh she wanted a guy on an island that was stranded because he crashed with the surfboard and the sharks surrounding the island and he can't escape now so he's all sketched out, sitting up there like, oh my god, I can't escape the island because there's so many sharks. And that's pretty much, that's pretty much the story. Right? Yeah. Did I miss anything? Uh, I'm moving it down again really quick for the real aspect. Try not to touch the lines up, oh, touch the bottom one. Attempt number two. See, this is a this is a case of make sure you color in the lines right here. You know, in kindergarten, when they teach you to color in the lines, it all leads up to this moment <laughs> right here. See that all that training in kindergarten. 
job does matter. It does, see? Wow. When you tell kids the color in the lines, it's, it's a real thing. I think we're going to see a little bit of his waistband here above the lines. So I'm just going to like toss it in. It's tiny. You're not going to see that unless you're like really looking at this drawing. But I'll leave it for those who do. Um, he doesn't have a highlight on his left side enough. That's what's bothering me about him. I gotta, I gotta do that. I'm good. I moved into a camper trailer, living in a small town, started a new chapter in my life. It's been nice so far. Awesome. Wow. That sounds like a big old chapter. That That's, that's a big old chapter reset, huh? I hope I get to have the camper trailer on the side life sometime. I've always dreamed of having that built out van. I mean, who hasn't, right? But that's that's dope. I hope that's all a good chapter you know, in your life, not a bad chapter. <laughs> I want one of those uh, Dodge uh, Grandmasters or whatever they call them. I forget what it is. It's like Dodge Master Pro, Dodge something master. It's like the type of van that I want to buy, like stock, empty. But, you know, they're only like 55K brand new, so... And good luck finding them used. Holy shit, let me tell you. You will not find one of those vans used that's, like, in good condition for anything affordable. At least not two years ago when I was looking. <laughs> Which, a lot can change in the market in that amount of time. But when I, I I had, like, a phase where I was, like, just, like, figuring it out. I was watching, like, every YouTube video, how to build them up, how to, you know, I was just racking my brain with knowledge. And I learned a lot in those days. But in the times when I was like looking for a van, could not find one. <clears throat> Closest thing I'll be doing in is a Honda Odyssey at this point. <laughs> <laughs> CRV. CRV camper. I'll get the bathroom and shower in it and everything, kitchen. <laughs> Entertainment room. Porch. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a porch on top of it. <laughs> this this the suspension will just be like on the ground by the time I'm done. <laughs> no, you can't do it with a CRV, but I, you can do it with an Odyssey. I've seen a couple clever, like not decked out like a you know Mercedes van, but I, I've seen some people do it with an Odyssey that was like, like serious. So basically, I'm just going to highlight this dude with some lighter skin on his, which would be his right shoulder in his reality. Let's see? There we go. I feel like his hair is fine. It's, it's just say he has brown hair. Call it a day. Even though it's the black with pen lines, but it just from that, you know, distance. Definitely the shark fins are like the main. That's what my eyes go to right away. It's cool. I like it. It's. I honestly genuinely like how this one came out today. I was feeling mixed about it when I started. I just like the colors weren't going on my way. I was like fiddling and I couldn't I couldn't find the flow. But sweet. Yeah, I can't wait to travel around, but just for now anchor down. That's dope though. Still like that's probably what I would do a lot of. Like I would I would like find cool spots and like anchor down for like weeks at a time. That's how I picture doing it anyway. I wouldn't want to be constantly using gas and wear and tear in the van. Or camper. Camper's probably better with the car because you can... I thought of that option too because you can pull away, right? That must be nice. Park the camper, pull away. I'm going to put the drawing up here. Here we have it. 
sign it. Uh, get my, I'm gonna get my smaller pen. It's like finer, better for signatures. I haven't signed my last two because I just didn't care. <laughs> now you all know you can go steal it and you won't get copyright. But I just, uh, I don't know, something about them. I don't like, honestly, it bothers me sometimes. I don't like putting a big thing over the drawing. I feel like it ruins it. But I'll do it on this one. There you have it. Episode two. Season two. Drawing of the day, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's so good to see you, Veronica. Glad that you know I'm back. And um, thank you. I appreciate it. Turned out great. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, uh, next Saturday at 9 a.m. definitely. Um, I know some of y'all aren't into the gaming streaming as much, but I'm going to be trying to get a Zelda one in sometime between now and the next de drawing of the day. That's a goal of mine. So we're on the water temple next. Watch me. I'm going to be stuck on that temple for like 10 episodes of that shit. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> It's good seeing you too. Hope the day. You too. Thank you so much. Hope the rest of uh, your day goes well too. Enjoy your camper life. I'm, I'm a little envious. So enjoy, enjoy it. Hope it's a good day. Hope you you have your your hot cup of coffee with your your legs crossed. You know the Instagram shot with the bed. You like coffee, the coffee, the book. <laughs> anyway, I'd have my sketch pad. I would have books, but I have both. I have both. Anyway. Good to see you, Stephanie. Good to see you. I don't know if you're still there. I love you all. And uh, again, subscribe if you like what you see. And check out planetjoking.com because there's a lot of artwork up there for sale. And I'm trying to get rid of it. I don't want it to just sit in my closet, you know? But uh, yeah, have a good day. Good rest of your Saturday and weekend.